guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make one of my new favorite recipes. It is like a chicken Mexican bake. It's chicken, corn, beans, rice. Um, it's my favorite recipe. Well, not my favorite favorite, but it's really, really good. And it's really easy if you're a college student because you can just put it on before you leave and then come back. Today I'm going to be doing it where I add in some of my ingredients later on like an hour before it's done cooking but if you had to leave for class all day you could just throw everything in and it would be perfectly fine but today i'm just choosing not to do that i'm not sure why but i think i just like it better that way but all you need is a crock pot and a few simple ingredients and you'll be good to go so the first thing you want to do is add your chicken into your crock pot now mine is going to be cooking for eight hours on low but you can do it like on high for six hours. It just depends on how much time you have. So next, you want to take um, some chicken broth. I just have a 10 ounce pan, and to this you add one can of water. Next, you want to add your seasonings. I'm just using some taco mix, some garlic salt and some lemon pepper and then use regular salt and pepper. Like I said, I'll list the original recipe down below, but taco seasoning just has all of the seasonings combined that that recipe used. So I'm just using about half of a pack. Just a little bit of regular salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Because you already have garlic salt and lemon pepper, so you don't want to double up on each, but just a little bit of it. Just take a fork and a spoon or something and just kind of like mix that all up in the liquid. So now that's what your chicken looks like. Not the greatest, but you just want to put the top on your crock pot and then let that sit for about six hours and then we'll come back and add in the rest of our ingredients. So my chicken has been cooking for about six hours, seven hours, and it's time to put the rice and your veggies in. So um about an hour ago i took my chicken out and shredded it and then i have 20 ounces of liquid in there and that's about two and a bit cups so i have two cups of instant rice and you're just going to want to pour in that much rice however much liquid you have i recommend instant rice because then it can cook in the broth and it'll be really yummy or if you want you can cook rice ahead of time and then just jump dump in like pre-made rice if you don't like minute rice you're also going to need uh, corn and any beans you like and then in the last 20 minutes I like to put on some cheese. So now you're going to want to, like I said, just dump in your rice, your corn and your beans. You can use whatever beans you want. I chose to use chickpeas and black beans and when I made this recipe I think I halved what I got off of online so I used about half of a pretty big size can of beans and then just cover the top in corn and I don't really measure it and then just make sure you stir it all up and make sure everything is covered in the water or the broth and then if you feel like you need a little bit more water just add in like a quarter cup or whatever you think you need of that but that's how it is and I will show you guys when it's all done. I have this container of shredded cheese and I'm just going to put it all over the top. So once your cheese melts, you are good to go. I hope that you guys liked that video. Let me know if you tried the recipe because I think it's really, really yummy. It's basically like a baked chipotle bowl. That's essentially what it is. You can like put cilantro in it if you want. You can top it with sour cream or guacamole, but it's really versatile. You can put whatever you want in it and it's really, really yummy and really filling. I'll probably be doing more of these videos, so make sure you subscribe so that you catch all of them. I'll see you next time.